Welcome to part 9 of modular environment design in Blender for Game Engine. This course is easy to follow and even though I'm using hard ops and box cutter you should be fine in vanilla Blender if you know the basic tools. Now if you don't know the basic tools I would highly recommend our free course for beginners called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It will get you up to speed in a matter of days saving you a lot of time and frustration. The link is in the video description like I said the course is free. Now if you get stuck during any of these courses feel free to to join our discord channel with almost 4,000 people over there and a help section so you should never get stuck again link is down below enjoy in this one we're gonna be adding final details so let's uh, alt v and turn cavity on so we can see the uh, edges a bit better let's turn off the ceiling and let's turn on the lights we could actually now add all these elements to another pack. So create one more pack uh, out of these and new collection and under ceiling. Okay, so let's just turn off the floor for a sec. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding some pipes. So the easiest way to add pipes would be to simply, you know, grab an edge out of this and then go to Q and simply curve extract and curve extract it. And then you need to think how many, you know, how many segments you need. You probably don't need more than, I don't know, uh, let me see that bevel resolution. That's f zero. Uh, maybe, maybe that many. That will do, I think. And click it in here. And then GZ and drop it down a bit. Right? And you see that. Let's just uh, smooth it. So, shade smooth. There we go. And GX and GZ. And move it somewhere here. GX. Boom. So, we have kind of like a pipe going on. And you know we can we can literally array this or we can just simply you know snap it around okay and we're going to shift D this and move it somewhere here so there's gonna be another piece to uh, texture and uh, we can you know extrude it along here so shift D and Y and snap it and then simply shift R all around this place. And you could add another pipe, which is going to be a little bit, I don't know, smaller. Could run somewhere here. So the same version of this one, you know, we don't even have to retexture this. All you need to do basically is, you know, shift D and move it somewhere here. Make it smaller. So as shift Y to scale it on every single axis except Y. But before we do that, let's move the uh, origin to Geo and s shift y there we go it's gonna be a small one and you know you just move it around so shift d y and snap it and then shift r around the scene boom and you could do it the same on the other side but i'll just stick to one side to look a little bit better and we need some you know like supports for it right so um some kind of a, a you know support mechanism for these pipes yeah um, so let's create something. So let's just simply add a cube and uh, mesh and cube. And uh, where is it? It's here. So move it somewhere here. Okay, make it smaller. Make it narrower. And you see that. GZ, um, move it up. Okay, and move it in. And make it smaller on Z and move it up and move it in yeah something like this or do in fact you know i have an idea could create like a bracket here so we could uh, we could do it differently let's grab these two okay actually let's grab this one Control i and delete all the faces and we're left with this right so let's grab this one and let's in fact grab these two pipes go to local mode so i'm going to solidify this right so select this one and solidify it a little bit and 
we're going to grab this bit here, this edge, and um, EC and move it up, and GX, move it like that. We're going to bevel this a little bit. That manual too, and move it in. So GX, move it in, and GZ, and do something like this, which is pretty cool. Mm, this should be a bit lower though, so a bit lower, like that. You know, that will do. And maybe closer here, and a bit lower. Boom. And you know this will do, and uh, we can clone it around uh, this this place. And this one could be going into the ceiling, so um, shorten it in a little bit, and then easy move it up, and then GX, and you know do something like this, and move them closer. Select both and GX, move them in here, and then simply GZ, you know move it up and GX. This will do, so like that, and you know, just bevel it, and boom, you got yourself a kind of like a bracket. And this could be a bit, you know, a bit wider, something like this. And we can drop it near the pipe, so shifty, and you know, drop it somewhere here. And you could array this around, or you could just, you know, randomly spam it. I'm gonna array this, so it's gonna be easier. You know, like this. Boom. Sorted. Right, and there's your pipe. And the same thing could be done on, for example, on the bottom here. So you could have a pipe going around, uh, around this area on the bottom. So what we could do is simply grab all these elements, right? All of them here. And go to local mode. And go to edge mode and uh, select you know select the edge all around here and then curve extract it so curve extract it boom make it small yeah and then right click and shade smooth and you don't really need all these pieces um, you need a few of them so you need outer corner, inner corner, and uh, and one straight piece. So you need inner corner, inner corner piece, outer corner piece, and one of uh, one of these top pieces here. Come on, there we go. Right, I think that's it. That's all we need. So. Go back and simply, you know, shift D them here, and we can organize it later. So for the time being, just put them in here, and there's gonna be our pipe going around, you know, around here, and it's just gonna add a bit more interest. You see, it looks pretty cool. Um, we could do the same thing on the top, so you could add a lot of, you know, small elements like this. I'm not gonna be doing it because. Um, that's you know that's enough. We're gonna have some furniture in here around anyway, so uh, I think this you know this should do, guys. So if you turn everything off, we should be fine. We might be changing placement of lights. Uh, like I said, we might be adding some lights here to the top, but this is really easy to do. All you need to do is watch this. So I'm gonna grab these two pieces, right? Go to bottom view like that. Grab this light, shift D, move it in here. Okay, scale it, right? Scale it on uh, on this axis and move it somewhere here, okay, and drop it down. Cheesy, man. And you know, you got yourself a long light. Of course, you can adjust it. You could, you know, you could fix it. Um, it the bevels are distorted, but you know, you could create simply a very long piece um, like this and. And just drop a light on it and run it across the entire ceiling here could actually be embedded even deeper you know like that all right and it's gonna look pretty cool it's gonna run all along this this strip or you could make smaller lights you know or just embed strips uh, into these pieces 
so what we could do is you know uh, run a knife here okay i'm just giving you ideas now yeah c and then you know uh, create a cut in here and then insert this one okay a little bit boom right and insert it in so extrude it and scale it you know a little bit right and gz and boom and get yourself a light so you could do something like this you know and you could run them on both sides okay so you simply you know copy this to the other side and you have lights in in this uh, in the ceiling as well but it's easier gonna be easier to texture this when it's flat because you can run trim sheets very easily on it and add something like a floater light on top of it it's just gonna be easier to texture it guys okay so I'm just saying another thing that we need to do that I've noticed is that the doorway has this uh, opening mechanism right but it needs to it needs to be on both sides guys okay so when you you know when you select the door and you select this one select these two and simply copy to the other side so you get on both sides which is important so again select the item shift select the door and alt x and mirror to the other side so it's on both sides it's important yeah and i think that's that guys i think we're done so we would need to what we need to do is oh another thing is that i've noticed is that uh this these two pieces you know remember the corner pieces here we don't really need them because you know we have a we have a, this uh this uh, panel here so we can remove these okay uh where is it this one remove them and we can remove them from here as well I mean you can you can model them if you want to or you know whatever texture them if you want to but I'm gonna remove them it's no point of having them because we're not gonna be using them okay so um, they you know they're redundant okay just grab all of them all right all right make sure that we have everything M and modular pieces these are gonna be textured and I think what we're gonna do is we're going to probably put them in a separate blend file um, yeah brilliant now these three we need to see what what are they okay these are the brackets they're gonna go with the under ceiling so we're going to move them to under ceiling and these two are stairs we're gonna move them to front windows panels uh, no panels are top panels it's the wall panels okay um, where are these if you press numpad dot numpad period here while hovering over this menu you'll jump into collection these elements are in the in floor okay um, they should not be in floor they should be separately into they should be moved into overlaying panels um, floor top floor elevation okay let's go to floor elevation there we go floor elevation and floor elevation perfect this should also be in floor elevation there we go and I think that's organized okay cool all right so this one is done guys so now what we're gonna do is we're going to um is we're going to organize the uh, the modular pieces there's a few things we need to do we need to name them um we need to create custom collision pieces for for example stuff like stairs or these pounds which are really kind of like you know slopey and they're gonna be difficult to create a collision in unity so we're gonna probably create a custom one in a custom collision like a wrapper in in blender these should be in backup because these are backup pieces for the corners so i'm gonna put them in backup all right so let's go and put them in backup there you go we don't need them and we don't need this one as well this one should also go to backup so we need to shift d them here um somewhere here right boom so we need these pieces um this one i can see that uh, has still a cutter being live so let's do this again 
let's apply the modifier so uh, let's go to operations and uh, let's actually let's let's duplicate this right with a seal oh come on seal window and this one right there we go uh, shift d and then q operations and uniquify and we need to move it here so snap it boom and i think this one i forgot to copy the seal right yeah okay let's do this again so grab the seal window and the bracket boom shifty and chop all right so we're gonna have to fix the origin points we're gonna have to fix the uh, naming and we're gonna have to optimize them so we're gonna do it in the next video but uh, the environment itself is finished guys this is you know this is what we get i think it looks bloody awesome so let me just grab this human here pop a ceiling on let me see how we're looking we're looking really good guys this is awesome when we're gonna add some you know some of these kit bash pieces that come with the course it's gonna look really amazing i'm gonna create some server room in the back it's gonna be bloody awesome all right well thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this part and I'm going to see you in the next part, which is going to be the last part of the modeling season.